Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday to you. A little bit, a um, little bit cloudy today. I'm hoping that the clouds are going to kind of burn off. Collecting a lot of junk in front of the uh, house on the driveway. I'm taking you guys to run a few errands today. There are some things that I need. I need to, um, having had a visit with my endocrinologist yesterday, endocrinologist is the one that takes care of hormones, levels, you know, things like uh, insulins and diabetes and keep people pretty much, try to keep people on track, people, keep people alive, keep people happy. And, um, I hate pulling out of here. It's so flipping dangerous to pull out of this driveway. It's like a world-class little piece of hell here. I hope I don't get nailed, which I almost did. <sighs> so hard. He's like, I know I'm going to get T-boned there one day. Hard. Spun around and God knows what's going to probably get crushed in a like the way I always imagine shit, you know, like the worst possible outcome that could have and probably be worse. Um, my endocrinologist who takes care of my hormones, my uh, regimen, male to female hormone regimen, estrogen and testosterone blockers has um, decided to put me on uh, the transdermal patches, the ones that just go on your skin, I guess because it's easier to uh, take care of it. Quite frankly, I'm, I've had so many needles in me this week for years. Every two weeks I've, I've uh, had administered uh, estradiol, estrogen. And uh, I'm getting tired of being needled, right? Tired of that that wasn't that was just a nice side effect. I didn't go there and say, Oh man, I'm tired of being needled. Shit, I've been needled to death. Boosters, this, that, everything under the flipping sun. All right, I've been all needled up. This is gonna make my life easier. This this provides more of a steady dosing, which is good. That's right, dude. Just cut me off. Go ahead. Air quality is terrible today because there's not a breeze in the sky, so all this dirty smog has descended on the area here. That's why wintertime weather and pollution is always bad out here in California. So, okay, what is all this leading to? Damn, Rosie, you tell some roundabout freaking stories, but I put a smile on your face. Okay, so now I'm going up to pick up. Um, my prescription here to change over to that, which should be, uh, I don't know how much it'll be. We'll have to check it out and see. And then we need to go to the big box store up here, and I need to get a few things there. I want to look at cordless trimmers. I haven't had a trimmer outside for a long time, and the one we had was on electric cord. Well, I, I have a hard time stretching a power cord 300 feet, okay, the length of a football field, right? Don't cut me off, dude. I'm going to go to head. There we go. Uh, so I want to get a good quality cordless trimmer. I want to also look at some paint for the... Uh, going to be doing a job on the bathroom and I don't know today if it's going to be about shelving or not but we certainly need to go to the big box store and look up some stuff over there. Last time I went to Lowe's I dropped the bundle man my hands were shaking. Woo! Check out ladies are you okay? You want me to call somebody? Yeah. <laughs> call my banker or have a heart attack when he sees my uh, bank account down there like what the hell did Rosie spend money so I want to have that ready because next week although we're on a short little break here today for moving the rancho forward we're going to keep rolling forward on that and we need to turn our attention to out front we need to get some weed and feed we need a spreader to put that on I don't know where in the hell the spreader 
spreader when I used to have one. I used to have a lot of shit. I don't know where it went, but we need a weed and feed. We got to start to try to recover that front. Now it looks like the the water tank in the back is crappy again. I don't know if that thing is uh, leaking, so I don't know. I may try to patch that one more time, but that's not high on the list of priorities. We're not going to have to activate that till April, May. So always put off till tomorrow what you don't need to. So what you don't need to do today. Meantime, our diet continues. Yes, yes, yes. So glad to have you along here on a uh, Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm not happy about the results of the diet, but uh, we're going to keep the pedal to metal. We're not going to get discouraged. It's very easy to get discouraged. And this is where a lot of diets, a lot of, I don't even call it a diet, I call it a life to, lifestyle change. Kind of, a lot of that stuff goes to die when you hit this point like then you figure screw it I'm going to treat myself to a couple of gallons of ice cream 16 bags of Doritos the big size family size wash it down with a case of coke and be damn happy okay and then wonder why I'm uh I'm not losing weight we ain't going to go down that road we're not going to be, have any pity party <coughs> of feeding here let's go pick up the medication we got what we need, D-O-T-T-I patches here, and the doctor wants me on two of them, that's pretty cool, so we'll see how this goes, you can shower with them and everything, and that is, but I'll tell you what guys, let me tell you what, that was an hour wait because there's so many people sick and in line with COVID, and it's just unbelievable right now, I can't believe I've never seen so many people in a pharmacy just waiting to pick up prescriptions. It's kind of scary. Okay, scare time is over. It's time to go up and get, uh, let's go up to the big box store and get the rest of the stuff we need today, okay? We got crap to do. Home Depot time. Goat head, don't let me slow you down. I guess we'll go through the garden center here. There's a lot of people in the garden center because the weather's been pretty good. Okay, so we got to go inside. We're going to look for the uh, weed and feed too. Usually they have that outside and we need to get like an applicator for it. So, spreaders. I'm going to use this stuff here. Uh, I think the Scots is like the best one. Turf builder. That front lawn's gonna really need some attention, man, because it is really friggin' mess. So we're gonna need a spread or two, a little whirly. Before we're putting it on too heavy before. So we need one of them too. I think that's okay. We got something else here. It's a little cheap job. I don't even know how the hell that works. I guess you just spot shake that one. Let's do it the right way, huh? Nice deal. She gave me 50% off of this bag. Contractor bags because they were already open. Kind of nice. I got some more of this for peach leaf curl. Let's, um, yeah, we got to spend some money these days, guys. I know it's a painful, painful proposition, but it's got to be done. Think of how we rebuilt and saved the barbecue. Look at this, baby. This will be something in a landfill, huh? One day, imagine that in a landfill. Deluxe. Ought to be ashamed of yourself. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got for the way of trimmers. I don't want to use all this gas and messing around with this crap. So, cordless. We need something that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna have to scope it out a little bit here. Brush cutter. Let's see what we're gonna do here. We definitely need one. I think this one will probably do the job. Nine inch. I don't need a real. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the edger. I don't need a friggin' edger. <laughs> Lord. Man, I'm dumb. Dumb. The good stuff. The DeWalt's. Look at this. All behind here. All the good stuff. 
I think we're probably going to get a good one. So I'm going to get the Ryobi because it has the uh, battery and the charger in it. I'm just not doing that much that needs to, uh, needs to be trimmed out on the property. But it should definitely be trimmed out. And then I got some backup line too here. Replacement line for that. So, okay, I think we scored good today. We'll look around a little more. Shame, shame, shame. And to think what we did to our beautiful barbecue for $20. <laughs> Be environmentally friendly like me. Man, there it is, guys. 273.79. It's sticker shock time, but we got some good stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't let me slow you down. Get home. What an exhausting morning, huh? Pick up a lot of crap today. Stuff we definitely need for the rancho. Stuff we definitely need for the rancho. And there's that beautiful little rascal. <laughs> These days I spend money with wild abandon, not giving it a second thought. If you believe that, you got another thing coming. From my cold, dead hand, grab that moolah. I just hope this stuff lasts a good, uh, good while. So that's going to conclude our morning errands. I didn't believe I took over an hour at the uh, pharmacy today. They're so slammed with what's going on. Uh, but a successful trip to the big box store. So I want to thank you guys for being along. As per usual, your thumbs up are appreciated. If you would take a minute to hit the thumbs up button. Prayers for everybody affected by illness right now and chronic diseases and other things. It's a very tough time right now for sure. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all notifications. And how great to have you along. Thanks everybody.